Hey everyone, welcome to my weekly uh, broadcast. It's um, it's a wine and crab show. So um, if you haven't um, seen this before, so every week I take a bottle of wine, um, around ten dollar, and I do a live broadcast while I'm making something. So today um, I will be making a, an old pair of chin into a skirt. So if you haven't seen um, what it looked like for my uh, password, so last week we did a. Uh, take a t shirt and make it into a dress um, a t-shirt so I have a little confession so this was um, this is the bottle that started this whole thing um, I used to be um, well a wine snob I guess um, so I wouldn't drink anything under 15 or $20 and um, so we accidentally drunk this as a party and it was uh, this one it actually was eight 45 and it won um, in 1914 um, 2014 it won a gold award and a bronze uh, for tasting and um, it was really good so anyway it's um, this is how it all started and um, so as I started doing this for about four weeks ago and a lot of people came up to me tell me how one of good wine for literally under ten dollars so I'm gonna be future some of them um, so this is a screw bottle we're just gonna open it and uh, let it uh, air out a little bit. So, what you don't know is basically I'm gonna wine taste it and then tell you what it tastes like. And if I open a bottle that I don't like it, I'm just gonna tell you it tastes like shit. Um, so if you like, you can uh, like my uh, web, um, my Facebook page, and it's uh, the link is uh, on the comments. So if you can. Uh, just like it so you can follow uh, every week on Friday and I will post the YouTube version of the edit out all the um, all the stuff that you know kind of go blank when I don't know what to talk about so I probably take those out and put it in YouTube and I post it on uh, my page as well uh, if you haven't know I think I have some uh, free yoga workshop coming up and if you look at the uh, my uh, Facebook page, you can uh, get the link to um, some of the organization because um, it's uh, sponsored uh, by um, an organization that promotes um, getting people connected. All right, so this is a very smooth, dark wine. I don't know if you can see. And it's quite smooth. It has a really nice t um, aroma to it. Usually we leave it sit for a little longer, but anyway, I really love this wine. So um, it's not as acidy. It um, and as you drink it, it probably would taste better. So this is an old pair of jean, and I was gonna throw this out, and I just found it in my um, donation bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a skirt out of this, and. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut it in straight. So the first thing we're going to do is going to determine the length of the skirt. So the length of the skirt, I would suggest it would be it, the knee, a little bit over the knee is um, business attire. About the knee is maybe still, but it's not that good. And about two to three inches above, it considered short skirt. And you definitely don't want to go to the mini because when you sit in, your ass is going to be on whatever it is. And the skirt not going to be able to cover your ass. Um, so I'm going to cut it a little bit above the knee because I might need to cut it more later. So it's better to keep it um, uh, more fabric. And then you can just cut it up afterward instead of... Uh, Instead, add it on because one is cut, you can really add anything back on. And from here, we're gonna cut the skirt into the stripe. Oh, and if you haven't watched this before, every time I drink, I mention the word, word wine, you have to take a sip. Mm, so nice, it goes down very nice and smooth. And it leave an acid taste. It's not acidy either. So, um, so go wrap up yourself a bottle of wine and stay in and chill with me. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut their inseam and the crotch all the way up to about where the end of the zipper is because we're gonna cut this up. So we're gonna open this up completely. So we're gonna cut on the edge here. Oh, just in case you're wondering, so that's the music I've been experimenting. So I've been uh, playing music, composing some music. So I'm not sure how that sound, but um, I think it sounds kind of okay. So if you like it, give a comment. And by the way, if you leave um, a comment on my um, online, on my Facebook, I can actually see it and I will um, respond to you live. So if you have any questions or want, to know certain thing if you weren't sure what I was doing to uh, drop that one note. So chair on. So as you see, mm. so to cut in the back, you notice where the line start to curve on the the center line. So that's where you probably want to end. The finished cutting. So I'm just gonna cut along the seam here, and then it stop at where your hip is. So it's a straight line. So we're gonna put this on the mannequin. And usually you kind of look at what um, before you put it down. So assuming the front area is in the front. So the reason this was draw out was because after all of the holiday, oops, I. got a little bit fat, I guess. So the waist doesn't really fit anymore. And I'm not going to tell you what the waist is because we're not going to go there. Okay. So notice I cut this up and you know they overlatch each other, which is right. And we actually are using glue gun. So if you don't know how to sew, we're using glue gun here, and I need a little more glue gun and stable. And I'm not going to use much of the uh, dreaded needle, so you can do this at home and then use the dreaded needle because uh, doing that will take a little bit longer. And this is actually fine, you can actually wash like two, three times, and it actually Fine. If you're using the uh, glue gun. So, before I do anything else, we need to cut all this into a strip. So, what I'm thinking is if we. So, I'm gonna just glue this overlap here a little bit. And then just finish it so it add into the skirt. So you already see there a skirt happening here. And to glue that, I'm just gonna go along the edge. I think it might need to heat up a little bit more. So we just need to wait that for. Uh, so while we're waiting, I'm gonna cut this into stripe. Strip. Strip. So I divide this into six, and that's all you really need to do. So you're gonna cut them into strip. 
and it's much easier if you do this flat on the floor but since we are limited on space so we're just gonna cut this by uh, standing so and the fun thing about this project is it doesn't have to be exact so you can just um, cut it up so you notice I put a stripe here earlier so you can just cut that up like so and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it after so I'm just gonna cut this all in straight I'm not sure how much we need so and as you can see it's not perfect which is okay so who drinking wine tonight and what you got drinking leave me a comment So thank you very much for tuning in last week. We have 1,200 people watching, and that was um, incredible. So thank you. So there you go. So we cut a little bit more, have more straight. I'm just gonna do do one leg for now, and then we can uh, do uh, do the other one after if we think we need it but we'll see because this is maybe all we need because so about this wine is um so i did did a little uh, look up earlier and it won hope a war and it's um it have a really nice smooth taste and what i'm tasting is have also a tamant uh very balanced tannin and smooth to it um, and that what one of my friends told me right Tom so there are about two more straight things you're gonna finish cutting it first and then I'm gonna Wait for the glue gun to uh, come on. And the white doesn't really have um, a strong taste, um, aftertaste, so it, it can be uh, nice with uh, Italian uh, food. So you can go with pasta, uh, some cheese for uh, wine and cheese if you like in the early evening. And one more, and we can get started. So I can smell the glue gun. It's uh, it getting warm. So what you got thought up uh, about the um, the dress I made last week? It turned out quite cool. I didn't really know uh, where it goes. So uh, same like right now, it could uh, turn out really cool, or it turned out well, like piece of crap. And yeah, this is fine. So we're gonna glue gun this down. So we're gonna start from the back. And as we cut the crotch area, so we're gonna just glue on the edge of it down on both sides. There you go. And then you're gonna smooth them over one another like so. So if you want this to be more of a permanent, you can sew it. Um, there you go. Excellent. Nice. So we're gonna do the same thing for the front. So, like I said, we cut on the uh, crotch line to the end of the zipper and we're just gonna sew over that um, so we're gonna put 
this on, glued it down on the edge here, and then overlay on top of each other, and then add a little bit of glue. Voila! So, if you like, you can just stop here and you got yourself a skirt. Ideally, you want so this actually would go far down. So this is basically a mini skirt, and then would just slip in the front. So if you want, you can add another piece of fabric here in the front just to cover it up, and then see, like so. Then you would have a mini skirt. Okay, or whatever skirt you want. But we're gonna go a little bit farther. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into strips as well. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna start from the back and then cut all the way to the butt area. So we may do one and two here. So another one here. So time for another glass of wine. Cheer one. Hatch up. Oh, we have somebody from Australia as well. Or is it New Zealand? Just joking. <laughs> I know people are sensitive with those things. Anyway, cheer. Okay, so continue cutting up. So we want it to be just about the same. So I'm just kind of visually just spacing everything out. It's about an inch at the bottom, and then I'm just going to use that as a guide and then it go up from there. So where am I stopping at the, um, the cutting is where the uh, I end at the crotch um, line when we cut in around the crotch here. So it ends about the same area that uh, at where the crotch end. So you want you can go higher. It's just a little bit more work for later on. So here you go. And if you like, just for fun, you can use this as a Tarzan meet Jane shirt, but um, we're not going there. So there you go. So you got a pleat and we can go a little bit higher. Um, I think for the front, I'm going to go all the way up to where the pocket is. So go up all the way here so make sure to avoid the pocket area right so there you go and this kind of remind me of um, the village people I think uh, you know the YMCA song that uh, that have the very 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 short short in the 80s So make sure you don't cut the pocket. But you're gonna zip this up so it keeps the form. And so there you go. So we got really high on the front and we stop at where the pocket end in the back. Now from here We're going to apply the straight that we did. So I'm going to start from here, from the front, underneath. So what I can do is I'm just going to staple it. So make sure you staple the 
the two thing on the outside, right? And then make this a little bit faster. So make sure your stable work first. So I'm gonna do this. And then we can finish it up with um, the reason we do the staple on the outside is how you don't want it to hurt you on the right. And then I'm just gonna do it diagonally so we woven the uh, the skirt. Um, so I'm not doing anything. Plan. I'm just gonna go freestyle right now. What you can do is you can staple every one of them or just the so for the side I'm gonna do both. Here you go. J1. Mm. So when you taste the wine and then after you um, drink it, let it fill your mouth. Use your tongue to push it from side to side. The tip of your tongue is where all the taste buds is. So it's the receptor of um, all the taste. And a good wine, it usually gives you a nice taste um, balance to it. And uh, certainly this wine does, it's smooth. I taste some uh, berry in there. Okay, so there you go. So we have a little woven here. Now, if you like, you can make it into a flare skirt. So just by open up the uh, pleat, and that would be a little bit bigger. And it kind of look a little cool too, so I'm just gonna staple the bottom together. And later on, if you like, you can just sew it or glue it together. So this is the first piece. And I'm gonna do the other one on the top here. So there you go. So all the way in. Staple down. Give it to the front. And then this woven underneath. There you go. Staple. So I'm doing this on a mannequins, and you can definitely don't have to have it on a mannequin doing this. So uh, it's not going to be as fit of a form. Oop, I stapled that wrong. It should be on the outside, but oh well. The reason I'm doing this on a mannequin is because I needed to see the uh, the shape of the um, the skirt gonna be. And there you go. You can go across underneath. There you go. And we're gonna do this on the outside. Yep. Hi, Gray. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> All right. So, continue. Cheer. Oh, we should drink when we pour glass, shouldn't we? There you go. So now we have something that kind of woven. So you can actually sew this, a stitch along the line. Oh. Um, just do what I do, just um, staple it. So we're gonna continue to finish up the front and we're gonna go from here. So we're gonna start from the bottom. Line it 
this on this bottom up, staple down. Huh? Oh, hang on. I think I made a mistake there. And what good with working with stable is you can just kind of undo it and then redo it again. Oh, hang on. So I might just go all the way across like this for this one. So because this is at the top, so this should be at the bottom, so therefore just go here and then just go there all the way to the top so therefore it started all the way over here so um, if you're watching from a, on the other side of the planet uh, i.e. Europe and um, Australia we just have a spring, which is like 10 degrees. So we broke two records. One is the coldest in 60 years. And now we also broke another record because of warmer. And tonight, everything turned into water and ice. And we're going down to minus 10. So within a week, we go from minus 35 or 40. And then we got 10 degrees uh, yesterday. And now tonight, we're going to go to negative 10. So 20 degree differences within a day here so we're gonna staple this under over so for this one I would just staple it to keep it make sure it's um stay there go under here make sure you have enough space so you don't kind of over pulling them and if you like a lot of us got a little bit um, heavier I say by spreading the space between the pleat you can actually make your hip and your skirt a little bit wider into a flare there you go and finish here there you go so it looked kind of cool it looked woven and we're gonna do across again. So we're gonna start all the way from the top here. And then we're just gonna work our right across it like so. Okay. So we're gonna start from the back this time. But this has to be on. Oh, there you go. So this is gonna go under. underneath cross over so you want to staple this down and then over again and since this is going to be near your crotch area I would suggest to open them up so you keep this um, as close as you can and this we're going to actually go under And then over the top here <laughs> and here so I'm going to staple this down so 
There you go. So you probably gonna already see what it looked like it's about to form into a skirt. Oh. <laughs> when you staple, you actually want to. Um, so the trick is why I'm using the staple. So when we do fashion show or um, working on movie and we short of time, this is actually one of the trick we actually do because when you have to um, 30 seconds to get the, everything on the runway, is sometimes you have to finish up the hem, um, stuff like that. So as you can see, it's beginning to take shape. And I'm just gonna balance that out. And so we're gonna continue to go across it. Oh, so that why? And I'm gonna go from here to cross over. So go from the bottom and then we spread them out. And remember what I say, make sure you do the bottom of the staple upward so it doesn't uh, touch your skin and then you're gonna get scratched with it. Hmm. Right now. And what good about work with a staple when it doesn't work properly, you just undo it and redo it again. So you got drinking wine? So I, can, um, I want to just say thank you very much for actually turning in. Um, this is my fourth show. And it's amazing so far. It just started with uh, 200 people who are watching this. And the last show, we have over 1,200 people, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Um, so if you, um, if you want to watch this later on have to see how it's finished, just uh, share that on your page. And um, you can uh, just go back later on to see what it uh, looked like. And I think my staple got stuck. Oh, it did. There you go. Oh, and make sure you don't you wear some shoe. I'm on my barefoot, and when this drop, I don't want to step on it because it's gonna hit uh, me later on. Now. So what do you think of uh, what this looks so far? Let's go over, under, and then it finished. So the piece of scrap that we cut from the earlier, it become a woven skirt. Thank you, Diane. Oh, by the way, if you're leaving me comment on um, the um, the show, um, do them on the video uh, comment, not the um, not what I post on the page, because. Um, I can only um, see one window at a time, but uh, I will get back to you when um, when this over and um, talk to you.
Now, so we're gonna go over. So because we have the prior, um, we started one, so we're just gonna continue woven. And this is actually how you learn to wove. So you have woven basket, woven hat, and stuff like that. I actually learned how to make them when I was uh, in Asia, um, very long time ago. Sorry, I should tell you about the wine, shouldn't I? Um, I drink this so much, it actually is quite lovely. Um, it has a nice smooth taste, oak to it. Uh, like I say, a nice balance. You can taste the, um, the, um, the tanner in there. And it has a nice berry. It doesn't have an uh, aftertaste uh, that would overpower your food palate. Now, we actually around the hip area, which most of us uh, want to expand. So if you do that, if you watch here, you see, you can actually open up a little bit wider if you want. And then this give you room to basically um, add sizes to your skirt. So this basically would add anywhere one side to three side up if uh, you like. Oh, hi Kelly. There you go. So basically this is just a old pair of jeans I made, uh, I got, I have. And I was gonna just throw it away, and it would been in my recycle uh, bag for a while. And I thought I just use it to uh, create something. There you go. So I think it turned out to really be cool. And we're just gonna do it along one time at a time and make sure it doesn't fall on you and to continue cheer so it's a lightweight so if you look at the wine and I scroll from them you can see through it and it has just a nice really rooty red to it. It looks kind of deep and smooth, but it's not overpowering. Some of the wine, it actually, when you taste it, it actually have a dark, deeper velvet. This is um, more of a surface of a velvet, I would say. Cheer. So, if you just join and you have no idea what is happening, I took a pair of jeans and I make it into a skirt. So we cut slight here and then we cut strip of the leftover bottom half of the pan and then we just uh, woven it into a skirt. Now when all this finished you have a choice to either sew it along here or just uh, leave it like this and just put the glue gun over top of it later. So that I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, this here look kind of funny when it fallen, so that means it didn't fall properly. So I'm just going to undo it. Now, if you don't want to use the uh, stable, um, you can use pin. So you just pin everything down, and then you just sew them as um, a whole unit. I just use staple because is much easier to deal with and I thought it would be fun and something different that um, people don't realize that you can use stuff around your house or your office to um, make your clothes and this would go over here and then stay it here so as you can see the skirt is pretty much done on this side. And you see here, it doesn't fall properly, so we're just gonna undo it and lower it down a little bit. And 
So if you pin or you staple, you could just you could up like I'm doing right now, and then just uh, adjust it and balance it or however way you want. This is um, the reason we use in the plot is have this uh, versatile ability. And talk about versatile, the wine have a very good versatile in there as well. Um, it's uh, nice and smooth. It's not too dark. Uh, and there you go. So we have this nice skirt size. So we're just gonna finish this size up and then we can continue for the rest. So this is gonna end here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do this down here. Staple it together. And then fish finishing up the skirt. Is a little bit of a challenge to do the standing, but um, so what did everybody do for this um, now that older crazy season is over? What are we um, what are we up to? So one quarter of the skirt is done. And I'm just gonna cut this up because it doesn't need to be. There you go. So what do you think? So what we can do is you can do a line and skirt on the knee or not. Sure. And so to continue, what you do is you're gonna stop, start wherever we end it here. So to go continue around. So I'm gonna take another long straight. And all this, it was cut from the leg uh, piece. And I'm gonna go from the back here. Ouch. Oh, I just stay on a, step on a staple that I dropped earlier. And then, we're just gonna go this over. Lay this right underneath the, where the piece end earlier. And since I wanted to make this a little bit wider into like more of a flare skirt, I'm just gonna have a little bit of maybe a one eighth of a space in between the, the cut. So, and then the long piece, you just cut it off after, so, but we're gonna leave it there for now. So, so there you go, you got a nice skirt. And we, I'm gonna tell you about the wine as we maybe run out of time soon. Alright, so this wine, like I say, it won some award. It actually won three awards. Um, from 14 and 15, it won a um, tasting wine award. So it's called Santini. And
So let me tell you about the wine. So it's Fantini Furnace, uh, Savi, Savi Jones. I have no idea how to pronounce that thing. And it's a, um, the explanation is the deep ruby color, which is very true. It have leather, cherry, yes, I definitely take this cherry in there. Uh, cranberry, it's smoky tobacco. So you do have a, um, the taco earthy aroma, that definitely there. Dry, I wouldn't say it's really dry. It just, yeah, I would say it dry, medium, uh, medium dry or light dry. Uh, medium body with a velvety texture of ripped, ripped cherry flavor. Hmm. Let me taste a few more and then I tell you. It definitely yeah. And so, if I'm not mistaken, so this type of wine is. Um, So it's a uh, uh, Pochilio Italian, and is um, so this bo bottle is eight fifty, uh, eight forty five for seven fifty, and I usually buy the double bottle, which is uh, fifteen hundred, uh, one point five liter for thirteen dollar, uh, thirteen ninety, which is um, a better value because you know you're gonna be drinking on a regular basis, and it's actually better for the environment. And um, they didn't really have a tasting note, so I can, uh, these are all the stuff that I'm able to uh, take off the website. So if you want, you can get them um, in the um, on my website uh, later on this week, about uh, Wednesday. I would post um, this video on YouTube and um, everything. Um, and then I also have all the things that you would need to to um, if you want to make the skirt at home. So what I'm doing now, so in the 80, when uh, I'm dating myself, I guess, in the, um, when the, the gene becoming very popular and we learned how to age this gene and then um, make it as it was or um, how to, what you want. So you're using a brush and so, so you cut the seam slightly and then you just brush it. As you see, it become aged this right away. And then after this, you put it in a washing machine. So therefore it's good. So there you go. So I didn't do the back yet. There you go. So what do you think? So I can um, continue on doing this for another hour, or what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna finish the front, so I'm gonna show you what it look like. And the reason I'm using the staple instead of the glue. Um, so what happened now is, you have the outside of the staple, and then you're just gonna put the glue gun over it, and then just, um, so it doesn't hurt you. And then, so by doing so, you also prevent this from getting um, onto your um, cut on your body. So there you go. So we got a skirt. So I hope you enjoyed the show. It's a little bit quick and fast today, but uh, this is an easier project. And if you want to age this more, which um, good, I do with this around the zipper area. To just cut up tiny piece if you want. And if you buy a new pair of jeans, I do it around the edge of the pocket here. And then just use a brush of any kind and then just brush it out. 
And you wonder how I know all this? I actually used to uh, design for a jean company. We actually uh, create jeans, so I know a lot about jeans, how to actually treat them, different type of thing. But um, that's another story. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. So see you next week. Thank you.